Astralis kicking things off on the T side here of Dust 2 of Glaive's Xbox Smoke. They've got Molotovs, Flashbangs, a decoy as well. As I said, three players up towards middle. It's Voxic lifting out for sound cues towards the middle doors. And he's going to get quite a lot of them as they make their way up towards the catwalk position. And he's going to be able to Rops to defend as flashes come through. They've actually opted for the mid doors here. This could be powerful from Voxic. Oh. He swings very well and gets right through the smoke. Not bad. Flames will do good damage to him and damage continues. Astralis, they're pincering into the B site. Frozen's going to be overwhelmed. He has only got four bullets left in the clip. What's he supposed to do? Nothing is the outcome of that. They'll take the site, but they don't have the bomb. Glaive, he's all up the creek and he hasn't got a paddle. He's going to have to try and use his Glock to dig himself out of trouble here. A duel with Chris J. He spotted the bomb. The CTs are losing life left and right, though. Yeah, he really needs backup here. This is all falling apart. It's all gone wrong. That's where the bomb goes down, and now oh. Astralis need to recover. I don't know what's happened here. They've done so much damage to the CTs, but it's still a chance they lose this. Luckily, they have a minute on the clock as they try and work out where the remaining CTs reside. There's one towards the right-hand side here. Chris J pulls one back, but so does Device. Still a two-on-two. Voxic, they seem to know exactly where he is, but Chris J is a real nuisance at this point. Voxic, if he somehow wins this one, it'll be amazing. He jumps out. He still survives. A bullet catches him. Down to 6 HP. They grab the bomb. And back towards B they go. That should be the round over, but still, I have no idea how What's that he transpired. He still could get the one tap here. There oh. is a chance, but Device will get them a bit loose here in this first gun round. Molotov down towards CT spawn, checking Damn, out the double son. doors here. A lot of aggressors, they walk in towards the B tunnel, but Rob, that anchor we talked about him, gets a double kill. If there's a third kill, they should be able to save the round here. Device still out towards mid doors, falls back now towards tunnels, and he's alone with Zipex. They've got the bomb down, but a free kill. That's. Lovely. That's going to really confuse you. Yeah, you're not really sure what's happened there because they can recover the bomb and actually fall back and play with this three on two. The fact that Vice still has an AWP, they've got a minute on the clock and there's that confusing frag. He's now spotted multiple players in towards B with flashes coming over. He can guarantee at least two players are there, Alex. So at this stage, all bets are off. They've left A open. They've lost track of Zipex. Got a kill towards A. And Carrigan, remember, he got five frags. Uh, it was, sorry, I think it was eight frags total over uh -oh. two maps against Astralis the other day. He is going to struggle in this series as he looks towards top of middle, decides to fall back, knowing if he goes down, they'd probably lose the round. He's done well to get information there. It looked a bit <laughs> awkward, but in the end, he's actually no longer got the question mark Timing. as to where Astralis were. Chris J gets more information, though, and he's actually going to choose to stick around the car. That could be a real problem. He just used his smoke. Would have been fantastic to survive on that Molotov. But Astralis, they're just pulling these teeth, extracting them. It's painful. It's slow. But they're doing it again just like long where they had the vulnerability in a 2v4 they still managed to slow the round down with 15 seconds it's actually starting to look promising frozen has a molly here as soon as they start planning if he throws oh, that they can't perfect, get the bomb though. down it has to be perfect and it is but oh he's got it down in times it begs is burning down to 44 frozen's already caught his teammate one versus two for frozen above the box and he finds it mouse sports will take the first and much needed round they needed to pull out the fourth a financial sacrifice let's see if it that goes into the round and the gameplay itself. Zipex actually aggressive, flashed in nicely. It's Chris Jade on the blue box has been spotted. Carrigan contests, but they know where you are, but he hasn't communicated. Device has gone down in a dink for Dupree. That's not too shabby. Oh, what's going on over there? <laughs> They're definitely not going to check it. There's even a swing for some potential here. Dupree. He is. Oh, He's this waiting. Is what we like. He wants both of them and he knows there's two to be found. Frozen wins the round for Mouse. Just like that, two clicks of his. And Magisk, well, you can't really do too much. Molotov weighing on the other side. In terms of loss bonus, they'll be at 1,900 in the next round. So, that's better off saving here. Not going to happen either way. He will go down, and that's Mouse Sports saving the day. Round six coming up. We'll have a look at the buy for Astralis in general. Just Eagles, an eco of sorts here with Glock and a flashbang of four Zipex. He sets up Magisk. Oh, oh, what's wow. happened there? What's happened? Two Deagles just rattling and filling the kill feed. No. Long open for business with no armor. How is that second? I don't understand. Possible? What? The first was a pre-fire towards the corner, but the second was on the cross. That was absolutely insane. And the Glocks Glocks. actually found a kill as well. Chris J had no helmet by the looks of things there. And now we have a five oh, no. on two situation where they started with P250s, only a couple of sets of Kevlar and one flashbang. Uh and it actually looks like they're going to win. I'm speechless. Voxic's going to claw one back alongside Rops. Okay, so now they've got their feet digged, digged, not a word, dug within the B site. And Magisk has opened up A. No issues to behead Rops. And now, well, this round is over. Voxic, what can you do? A very strange round. What in... We need to see the replay. They, they were both Eagles. through the smoke. Yeah, and Flash as well. zippy has got the Flash assist there, but at the same time, I don't think there were two flashes through the smoke. Yeah. It was more exciting there. Was, but but um, I remember they compared it when they did the E-League stuff with pro pro players, like yeah. pro, uh, sports sportsmen. 
And uh, the Counter-Strike players, the fastest Counter-Strike players were right up there with the MLB players. That's cool. Which is pretty cool. I don't think oh. there's like fighter that's pilots so or anything like that. Yeah, that's what we were back yeah. in the day. They compared it to fighter pilots. Yeah, that's a cool comparison. Um, either way, they're back towards B. We go. That's chance for Mouseport to pick this round up with these M4s available. I'm just Desert Eagle, but Chris J. Completely destroyed here. Robs does find the bomb, but it's a pre-fire towards the position. He gets two here. Huge. It'll be down to the timing. You can see it working out very nicely in that department. <laughs> and Mouseport's pull one back. It goes 6-3. He could try and flash himself in, but the sound cue would be too much, and he doesn't have any information on what's waiting around this corner. There's three of them. He can't even do damage to one. Badges will shut him down before he even begins. Now it's all about the power of suggestion here. Now he's seen three players out of the middle doors. They're going to start rotating. They're going to just leave one there to catch transitioning CTs and go back in towards the B tunnels here. We know Rops is here alone, though. Flashbang's in his position. Will he pre in this spot? It's a very common one. Normally good for one frag. There's the first, and down he goes. It is now a four versus three one of the most notorious difficult bomb sites to retake them all of csgo is now up for contention this is a key frag though carrying the shotgun mages there's a chance but he's had a rough one so far save. and yeah definitely a save at this point we got one anchoring in towards pit so the back of doors is about to be cleared with this molotov and it's Carrigan as well, who has been struggling against the likes of Astralis. His former teammates have been besting him. I have missed a Molotov, though. He's trying to play very passive CS. He's trying to get baited in here by Voxic if possible. And this first kill will be his. That's no problem. But Carrigan does go down. And now they know he's towards Car. Will Lunel have a shot here? It looks like he will. But that's got lots of pressure Ooh. from Shaw. A chance for a third that's not realized. And a smoke down towards Shaw. Looking for the cross now. Double spray down. On the cards there for Dupree, does significant damage as the bombs fire with four seconds of the clock there just to know as they try and make their way up towards shore. There are no grenades available on the T side, but an A split from the CTs. Chris J and Rops both very low, but still have a slight chance of pulling this one off. If Rops can get a quick kill from Long, he's got the orb and a perfect kill. That's all he needed. Now Zipex cowering on the site. Rops' presence alone will keep him contained. For now, his teammate Chris J to crawl up short. Rops has done it alone. Perfect find as they get both frags from the long flank and defuse to secure the fourth. If he pushes long, he could get a whole lot of information. This is going to come down to timing on when does he want to get inquisitive and when do they want to hit the B side. Astralis have been quite push happy though. They've been quite quick to the trigger on a lot of these executes. And yeah, here they come all on Chris J and he can't even get one. Locked out of the site. The B site is Astralis' once more. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but is this a save call now? It has to be really. This is the old classic from Astralis. Uh, it's a nice play to throw it to if you have to. And the grenade in actually just used to take a bit of vision away from the T's. Hasn't really worked out for them. Bit of uh, an all in play towards the B tunnels, but it has resulted in two kills going against them. Now he's missed his flash. He's having a nightmare of a game of 2 and 12 on the board. Similar numbers to what he posted in the first showing of this matchup. Same maps as well. He got five kills and dust doing their 16 3 deficit. So having a rough time against his former teammates, Frozen. Well, he's got a chance for the 1D. Yeah, I think he can probably get it, to be honest. But Dupree catches him from short. They know where the AWP is of middle. Oh, he oh, hits it. Now there's something to be said about this round. On for the ace. The bomb's down at T spawn. He's doing it again. It's uh, down to Voxy to close the round out. The bomb's actually all the way. My back at spawn. Dupree has to be careful. There's heaps of time, so there's no panic. They just have to be careful in the moment, right? I don't think Woxie's going to know that the bomb is down. He might if he keeps pushing up, though. From behind, they will strike. Bomb top middle. He, oh, he doesn't know. I'm not expecting that push. The device just takes him down, and we have our half. Woo! Only one smoke for the crossover here, so that means they have to smoke CT spawn instead. We'll see if that comes through, and there it is indeed. It'll land towards spawn position, and uh, well, Chris J opens things up with a banger. Device pushing towards C spawn, he's found. There's a gap in the smoke as well. Glade going to try and exploit oh. here. First one is a beauty. Is there a second kill available for him? Oh, it wasn't far off. Nice exploitation of the CT smoke. No smoke is perfect with just the one. And just like Smokes, they're going to have to work together now on the retake. Chris J's already lost Magisk, so now with four versus two, Glaive's going to have to hit some stunning shots. He already has hit two, tapping away not far from the dome of Frozen, but P250 in his hands on long, potent. And up they go. Perfect. Oh, they're burning, and Carrigan's lost his life. Device takes it from him. Bullet caught by Chris J, but he does manage to claw one back. And now towards B, they want to pin some magic because under a lot of pressure, he misses his lines a little bit there. Only one frag. They can lock them out and frozen. He's the one that's turning the key. A frag onto Zipex. A three versus two. Admittedly, Glaive has managed to get to tons fast. If he wins this duel, oh, dink for dink. But Kalashnikov prevails and now Device will save the orb. Device now can fill the gap. 
Oh, there's a shot for device there. He's not going to miss that one. Let me tell you, it's going to be Chris J walking into his certain death as the grenade will land significant damage. Actually, think of his pass Carragher. He's found a gap here, but Dupree, there it is, that double up set. I've suddenly come online now. It's very difficult to shut it down. Dupree's got incredible aim and a lot of confidence behind his sniper rifle scope. We'll see Zipex pushing the bomb here. Maybe unnecessary, but manages to stick the landing there, taking a little bit of damage, but finds Frozen. And Voxy missing a shot as he takes a bullet in response to that grenade. Could catch him, actually. Oh. It's a touchdown. That's beautiful from Device. What a perfectly thrown grenade. Not going to be looking for all. He's actually at the close doors. Oh, He's they're so fumbling close. again. He's going to see it all. They get the frag. Towards Long Dupree willing to challenge oh. multiple players there, and Carrigan nails it. It's got a bit of a gap in the smoke, so it could save the day here. It'll be Glaive to make the first decision, though. HE thrown, smoke deployed. And still a chance for Zipex to save the day here. Gets a great kill. Bomb goes down, but surely he'll be done for here. Now it's just Glaive. Remember, down towards CT spawn. Already been battered and bruised, and it's gonna be a mouse sports round here. I'll have to save. Long smoke or oh, flash setup. So Carrigan can get out, but it's actually frozen. Who will be dropped first? Flashing effective, but maybe carrying he say something about this. Go for the nutmeg here. Zippy too aware, but can't convert the frag. How has he not got that one? He's burning off that molly and they run boosters to keep his aim busy. Chris Chase found one on the flank. Rops arrives now perfectly after biding his time. A good move from Mouse, but as the dust settles, 2v2 and Glaive's regrouping short. Doesn't want to find this jewel until... Oh, I think he got him spotted. Moxix got a good idea. Looking for the right angle and takes the shot cleanly. Magisk in the one versus two and a perfect find on the walk with the trade there though. And Carrigan, two more frags to add to the impact frag tally. Two chances, Astralis up against the ropes. A map they are familiar with victory on against the same opponent, but oh, straight through the doors, the soul in the wound. Carrigan. Wow. He rubs it in, he takes the head off Magisk, and now Chris Chase just falls deep, straight into B. He's found the duel with Dupree, he gets traded, and Mouse Sports, they could just be forcing Astralis to go play retake B. Wopsic needs to survive, he has, and that's a very valuable duel to win. Flashes in, a second for Zipex to peak window, Glaive's getting into position two. Off the flashbang, they commit. Smokes, Molotovs, Carrigan gets another one. Zipex and Glaive, however, have they done enough? The spray's not there, and he's got enough time. I think he's got the he's kid as well. Astralis survived by the skin of their teeth. Wow, it comes right down oh. to the wire, and Glaive will win it out there. Round 30. Very different story to what we saw a couple of days ago. Opening kill for Device. Takes down the Danger Man in the form of Bostic as well. I've got the opening kill. Device is hungry for more, though. God is the flashbang effectively. There was that second shot, finds the bomb. Five on three. Is he going to stay in fight? Or well, fall back to the stage of his teammates? He gets flashed off, and Magus will come back in. It looks like they've done enough here. Five versus one. We're going to overtime. You wouldn't want it any other way in the semi final here. Mouse Sports, a great showing, but Astralis showing a tenacity that they're known for. They're not chokers anymore. They've brought this right back, and we're back and forth as we get into a 16K MR3 overtime. Ooh, Meaning it goes yes. first to 19, or 18 18, we go to double. I dare say that could happen here. Yeah, it certainly could. I love what Device did there. He had to make a play. Not only does he take down Woxie to start it all off, he's taking the double doors fight in a, a round like that, where if he goes down, they could very well concede the whole map. He wins that duel and finds two more. Great work but into the overtime because Rops isn't holding any punches back. He just goes straight out long and just knocks Magic's teeth out. That's the advantage seized by Mouse Sport. The nade looks promising for damage, and it does. Half Frozen's health. But they Astralis, they want to fight. Death Row flashes back in. They re-aggress straight into the spray. Another SG frag for Carrigan, and the spray from Glaive oh. is so close, but a clock of all things from Chris J. No bullets left in his AK mag, but he still pulls it out with the side armor. Now two orbs. And make it one. Woxic will connect onto device. Very convincing round here from Mouse Sports. Remember, 16k means you can buy up into the <laughs> round, but if you're buying double orb setups, that becomes very expensive very quickly. He's had his uh, war wounds very early into the third round of this overtime. Carrigan has done it again, How though. is he doing He's this? just walking into A. He's dropping CT. He wants to fight with device. Gives him the upgrade onto the Krieg. It makes sense for a duel like that. I expect Frozen to throw that Molotov, or at least to throw his gaze towards the yeah, he chooses the latter, and Woxic will find the frag, traded. Dupree doesn't have the health to stick around, now he has none, Woxic deletes him. A two versus three, Mouse Sports looking for the perfect TMR3 over time. That's the smoke for the cross. Different sign, there you go. And a 
across they go. The jump cost Rox his life. Just enough to get the frag. Now a 2v2. Strange showing how powerful it is. Two on two now. Can they find one round here? This shot might decide it. Voxic nails it again. The vice looking for his 30th kill. Not going to find it. we got 3-0 for Mouse Sports. That might be a lock-in. They've gone for a double orb setup on the CT side as well. We didn't see much of that in regulation. So we'll see if Chris J can close things out right here, right now. Carrigan certainly oh, coming so to life there. Flashbacks. He's handling it well, though. M4A1S towards the pit. He's used flashbangs very effectively. Pumps up a lot of damage there towards Dupree. Is there a double kill available? Apparently not. It will be a Scarlet having the lead for now. Four on three. They've got long control as they flash off now, thinking there might be another player available. Boxing. Oh, close to finding another kill there that Chris J nails his. This could be it now. That was big. Glaive had to make a choice. Fight or flight. Flames were behind him. Chase chooses to fight him down and actually finding that shot. Looking for a no scope. Woxic. That's uh, the Hail Mary play if ever I saw one. They want to just go for the elevator boost. This could be a short end for Rox, but he's actually managed to find the frag and fall off. So they got to fall back and push towards shore now. Knowing the bomb's only being planted at this stage. It will be clear though that both players have gone back towards shore. They can't really go long here. See if Rox opts to do it. So they're not going to stay together actually looking to pincer this one. Means there's a lot of pressure on this first shot. Doesn't nail it. Boxing now goes down. And this is where it becomes very tricky for Rob. The fact he's gone long now, there's no trade potential towards short. And he has to find two kills and defuse the bomb from a very far distance. Yeah, this should just be the orb closing this one out, right? You would assume. If he can do some, like it's overtime, so even the damage doesn't matter. If he can get his hands on a Krieg, if he can save that AK, AK that's right. fine. That, that's better than nothing. You only need one round, remember? So yeah. if they can just bolster their forces for that one round. And it, it, him being the B-side player as well, having the AK-47, it's much better than an M4, right? So that all works out. Might as well keep the AK. Reminiscent of what we saw from Mouse Sports, taking the control, this time some smokes and will fall, pull the incendiary out. A second smoke typically means the commitment if I've been listening to Henry G Counter-Strike School. Good nade. And a good follow-up. Block 6 actually managed to find two on this one. This could be it. Astralis is dust two hopes. Hinge on two. Remember, one round will do it. Mouse Sports can get this. They take us to Inferno with this map under their belt. They currently have a massive lead. Three on two. Zipping down at 8 HP. But we know what Astralis are like. They can win these rounds. They have one more Molotov available as well. All it takes is one fumbled move here from Mouse Sports to come tumbling down. Oh, and already one man gone. Dupree doesn't even get a chance to pull the trigger a second time. And Mouse Sports, they've got time. It's 19 to 17, dust two. Mouseports take their pick. In 10 ways, you normally can go for a four man stack and have one towards middle to stop this sort of situation. Uh, but never before has this been attempted, but it might work out for them. The first kill comes in, Chris J will find it. Molotov's down and frags down to the exchange at this point. Chris J with a Glock close range will be able to pull one back. And it looks like now sports are good. Yeah, good go at this at least. Yeah, it's looking positive. Zipex, no armor, man, just the same. He's going to hit the pit. shot. My God, kit down pit. They do manage to retrieve it, but already Magisk has stood his ground. They're running out of time and frozen. He's got no bullets. He's got no hope. No, wait, oh, no. A humiliating end. Magisk goes down with the ship, but a 1-0 all the same. It was a very winnable scenario right there for Chris J, but unfortunately for Mount Spots, they will now have to drop on down to these pistols and do another B stack. Yeah, they're going for the couple of nades down towards the bottom of Bananas. Could bounce them off towards the half wall. Well, it's also being exchanged. It might be a kill already. I think Chris J's in trouble here. Rops will get one. A good grenade as well. Might be a few more twists and turns this round. He's recovered the Galil as well. He's also got armor chat. Chris J eventually meets his demise. Device. Free fire towards half wall. Doesn't work out for him. But the trade will be there. A couple of them. And that should be the round, unfortunately. Smoke down towards CZ spawn. And Voxy with the USP to, to defend. Not really much he can do there. Yeah, he's just going to walk in with his knife out and hope that those shots don't hit. Catch the timing, and ooh, they did hit. <laughs> that sucks for Wogsick. A couple just down to his groin, and with 20 HP, he will catch them with a pin in their hand, but the Zipex just in time, and now just Rops. With a Kevlar vest and a Galil, likely he's going to want to keep that for the next. Can't blame him. Yeah, I think that's uh, a very wise and informed decision. Looking for some exits here. He'll be able to buy up next round regardless with the loss bonus coming in at 2,900. But uh, he gets an extra $300 per kill with this Galil. Seeing if anyone will be caught. Probably goes down here, to be honest with you. Nice work to get two kills. Absolutely wow. not bad. Great damage. That's $600 extra now. Trying to see if there's a third player available to him. He wants to take all of them if he can. No intention of winning the round. No kit, but he's sticking around for the frag and he gets it. Wow. wow, quad That's kill great. from Rops. He's made that Galil and Kevlar vest sing. 180s towards the apartments. He can do it all. 
first flick successful. Beautiful shot there. And the second foul by Carrigan. They're going to fall back to more defensive lines. As he throws in Tuck and Tail making his way back towards B. They've got a five on three. It's their run to give up at this point. The initial dink does slow them down, but he wants to stay alive here. Beautiful step again. Double slow towards Spawn. A little bit clunky from Astralis. As this round falls in Mount Sports Bay, they go for the clean sweep. Not quite going to find that, but it's good as really. AK-47 available there for Carrigan as well. Good flash to Carrigan, but he receives one. And down to the spray down. There's a lot of damage towards device, but also really a to his first pick. Very aggressive scenes here from Mount Sports. Device, Wild Line gets the first kill. Reaction play, though. Push towards the bedroom. Do things very carefully. Aware of it. Takes Chris down, but does he know the second player is in position? Jumps up, Rob's with his back turned right now. Wow, he was not expecting Dupree to follow up on that frag. Perhaps assumed he was a little further down, probably called stairs as opposed to on the balcony itself. And very smooth move from Dupree to give them not only the frags, but it seems the round as well. Bomb will be going down on A. The last few Mouse Sports players, or House Sports players as they've redubbed themselves, do manage to just find one consolation frag but that will be the fourth for Astralis and that's what they needed doing so cleanly as well that's going to put them right back where they wanted to be oh they fluffed it and he's still cross middle huge risk there from Wachsik but it won't come what? back to bite him as in banana it looks like a nuke's gone off two players have taken so much damage Magus can device Magus is just shaken I mean he's lost 95 health I'm almost certain that was made though well, he's gone now. Frozen. It's going to be Chris J converting the damage done by the initial utility. And then we go. Chris J is going to be safe on Emo, so he can just bide his time. Carrigan to get the contact. He's low HP, so they want him to go down first. And Frozen can strike. So there's Carrigan. And now the other pieces can, well, I would say, were into action. But he's taking his time. Frozen the trigger. Discipline could come back to haunt him. He has to stop that bomb plan. And Zipex safe. Bomb is over the halfway mark. And there it comes. The flashbang over. They have to start moving now. They have no smoke with the defuse. Flashbang coming through and Zipex nails the first shot. Can he find a second? Apparently not. Device though. Two on one clutch. He might have done enough here against Damn AWP. It. And it absolutely has. The bomb was in such an awkward spot as well. Astralis went out in a three versus two. Device, he'll survive as well. Did he grab the orb? Not quite. Oh baby, yes please. This is stuff we've already seen. We've seen Inferno does too. This one's a little more resistant. Rob's damage does get the kill as well. Dupree down to 27. Chris J panicking to reposition. Just a complete change of pacing here from Astralis. Right up towards middle. Four players make their way through. They've traded out a kill, and Chris J's in a lot of trouble here. Flashbang will come through, but Astralis finding kills. He's actually snuck through the smoke here. They might have done enough. Frozen certainly seems to think so, as he'll bring it down to a three versus one. Zipex making a lot of noise. He knows exactly where the last player is. Should be a matter of time before he pulls the trigger. And there it is. Mouse Sports, after losing four rounds in a row, will pull one back. He's a brave boy. He really the is, might go for the nutmeg here. He could do. Well, he'll know another player's on the other side now. Trying to find him. Oh, he's got his number. Oh, what are so you up dead. to? He has no idea the device could be this pushed up. Yes, Through the um, smoke, nutmegs him. Round eight for Estrada's looking likely. The apartments. We have got a bit of a creep from Glaive as well. We don't often expect this sort of position. We'll see if they do. Well, we'll have to fall off, gets a couple of kills. It's getting very expensive now. Maybe just will at least make up for that. So one frag will do. They keep three of themselves. Uh, money on amazing the T side. So just taking Rob's out of the equation to limit the finances going forward is fine. Device throwing the orb on the roof. Or trying. Trying. It to gets least. very difficult to throw the orb away in some of these maps. It yeah. doesn't want to just stay <laughs> Get away. Out of there. Yeah. Bouncing back. Try and pick up number five. It's not looking good here at all. And the first shot lands in favor of Device once again. What a beautiful shot it was. They get a boost here. Yep. Works out. Look how good they are. They're always crossing the T's, dotting the I's every single moment, every single corner. It's either a jiggle peak or it's a nade. It's a boost. It's one way to work out these peaks. And Astralis, you know, we're talking about how Na'Vi just go long on Dust2 now. Well, Astralis are just basically going banana here. We've had some rounds end over towards A, but once they force them back from top of banana, they're able to set up these executes. It takes Woxic's AWP out of the equation, and it puts so much pressure on this side of the map. And once again, that's where they want to go. Carrigan fires off some... Bullets through the smoke does a little bit of damage, but it's all trivial at this point. Um, bullets through the smoke does a little bit of damage, but it's all trivial at this point. He's going to be smoked off again. Trying to deny the plan if he can. There is a chance, but uh, a, a small one. As soon as he fires off any bullets, he'll be met by terrorist forces as well. 
And now they know he's got nothing left on the clip, so he is in trouble, to say the very least. Five versus two, make it one device on an absolute pair here. He'll close up the half with 17 kills, 11-4. First kill will be his. Doesn't even want two kills. Happy with that. Falls back with no damage taken. Jobs a good one. He's looking at the bigger picture at this point instead of the glory. Two bullets from his clip. Not too bad. That's sufficiency right there. And Device has done the same. Tapped away at the head of Woxic. Looks like Astralis. They want this pistol round by force. And Device perhaps overstepping the mark there. Could be a way back in for Mouse. And Zipex ready and waiting. One kill would do it. And it's a good thing to open things up here. But play... Unable to stop him just yet. There it is. Bomb goes down in a really awkward spot. Yeah, Rops' his frag gets him back into the round, though, because now across, and oh, he's lost his teammate. He's not even going to be able to plant Glaives on the coffins trying to contest. It's an awkward duel. He's expecting the swing. There's nades. There's bullets. The whole shebang. Astralis convert the pistol, puts 12 on the board very early into our second half. Head of the incendiary that Magis chose to deploy, so he has no control, and he knows it. You can see the bullets. Desperately trying to pull any sort of information, and it does draw their attention enough for the swing from Shaw. Device does well to find one. A brother in arms, Glaive, join him. Wide swing with the UMP, no flash deployed. And now that should be the round mouse boards. And as Zipix said, something wild here with the MP9. I don't see a world where he gets more than one. There it is, and there's Frozen. Confirming the round as a three versus two now, but Dupree and Magus are going to go for this. So it's a bonus situation here. They can do as much damage as they possibly can. The bomb not even planted yet. It looks like they're actually saying Dupree keep hold of the M4 and just have that SMG of Magisk just try his best to take a couple of Mouseports members down. Not to be, Rops' flank works out nicely and he's looking for the second, but he's miles away having an, uh, an adventure of his own looking at the artworks in T apartments. See what you can do with a bit of a partial buy. They've got lots of money coming up for the next oh, round. And there's okay. a great shot from Magus. Yes, he does give them a bit of a fighting chance of a spot in the shoulder blades of him. Rops trying to hold on to his dear life at this point. Rops and Fox could pull one back, but Rops down to 6 HP. Still gives Astralis a fighting chance here, especially with a 5 7 close range. Glaive could make this work. Yeah, straight past boiler, boiler. yeah, but is he expecting a third part of the mouse board? Oh! Oh, it doesn't matter. Double for Glaive. Rops has only got 6 HP. Don't forget, he cannot afford a single point of damage. A partial buy from Astralis, a saved weapon. And they've done it. That's enough. Zipex will get the final kill. A big round for them to pick up, and the money is ruined. You win this round, you need like six or seven on the trot to make things feel competitive, and then you just end up losing 16 I, to 12. I feel like like they've already lines. dumped so much effort and adrenaline to getting over the dust two threshold. Sure. Um, that would be the, the where I'd be thinking. I wouldn't necessarily vocalize it on team speak if I was in game leader of Mount Sports, but if I was Carrigan right now, I'd be thinking about the third. Yeah, like, we, 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 it took us so much to get dust two. This is their pick. I start us in fifth oh. gear. But there is something to be said about round 20 at least. There is a smoke down. And they just want to convert the kills on the cross. So they might be able to avoid map point at least for now. AK-47 is established. Rotation from Banana as the bomb will be planted. Oops, there's another spawn of smoke available. So if we can get this kill, we absolutely can. Dupree does significant damage. Relieves Magus in a two-on-one now. <gasps> oh, you didn't think he had no idea. He was trying to pre-fire <laughs> towards Emo. Instead, he catches just the cross. Props doesn't have a clue about that one. Now, throwing more bullets towards Emo. But this Chris J is going to be checked. Oh the my frag God, he comes wins in. The he's converted it. A one versus two. Magus clutches for the 15. He should buy a lotto ticket, mate. That's that one insane. there was lucky as anything. <laughs> Let's see it again. I mean, I'm, uh, the angle doesn't look like it was necessarily designed to find. Emo, I, I, that was just my assumption. Maybe now not he, towards the he side, would have actually. Heard the head pop right in front of him, right? He's just like, okay, well, I've just caught you crossing over towards the pool position somehow. I'll take that all day long. Well, contact played through the smokes. Doesn't work for some, but maybe it will work for mouse balls. Apparently not. The gray screens <laughs> live up to their reputation, and we will see a 16 to 5 scoreline come through. Not the most exciting second map, I will say. Not as nearly as competitive as Dust 2, but it does set up Nuke quite nicely, Alex. It certainly does, yeah. Nuke will be our third and final map. One single frag to confirm that we're going. Thank you, Zipex. 16 to 5, map 2. Astralis take their map pick. Mouse take theirs, and it sets the scene perfectly. We will have our grand final locked in on Nuke.
And we'll see Mouseport approach that squeaky door position, but Dupree ready and waiting. He goes wow. down quickly. A nice opening frag, but Device will answer back. It's going to be a lower pounce here for the Mouseports as they smoke over towards the bombsite itself. Trying to get a quick plant down, but Glaive is here to stop and disrupt their efforts. He oh, he can sort the bomb. It. He can't, he can't see him. We can't, oh, Frozen's Wiggles may have no. done him enough. That's Perhaps insane. not for the round, though. They're in decon and a oh. reversal from Glaive. 180 on his mouse pad. So damn fast. Does convert the pistol round. Glaive. He's done enough to finish that one. Yeah, none other than Device. He's been having an absolutely fantastic game. A gap in the smoke with a flash. <gasps> what? What it was flashed. He still catches Device. Didn't react in time. Goes four for four. The AK is unlikely to have the orb. Dupree will get one back with the MP9 and Glaive spots him. That's Carrigan going down, but I feel like Frozen will get the trade here eventually, but spotted. He sees him. Glaive pulls out the M4 again. Ready to fight. Oh, he plays it so well. That movement's so difficult yeah. to keep track it's, of. It's the jiggle beating. It's just so frustrating to play against someone who's very well versed in that mechanic. Frozen, but he's done more than enough in that yard position. They're not able to salvage that Krieg, so that'll be dropped and it's out of the equation right now. And I don't think we'll be seeing any more board up for some time as the five AKs will come out. It's very aggressive device has caught another. His rifling has been supreme this series, and Robs does claw one back straight through the smoke. We're seeing a lot of early deaths. Carrigan, you have to frag, holds towards Squeaky. Carrigan's heard all of that. Good smoke, though. Oh my wow. god! Carrigan finds his first kill, and it's a big one. Dipex caught as well, rotating out of lower, and this could be Mouseboard's first. Should even. Just device. He was found outside. He got the first blood, no less, onto Frozen, but this is where his round will end as well. He will fall back. What's his shotgun? He's about to be tested. Carrigan, though, finding these opening kills back to back now. And that could be the round itself. Just like that. Two in a row for Mouse. Collected. Straight towards the top side. Zipex in lobby. Oh. The transfer is there. Perhaps pulling his team back into this round. Frozen's outside. He should be able to find device. There's no way he's expecting a position like this. At this stage in the after plan, Rosen can secure the round if they need him. Right, does draw the attention enough for Glaive to find another frag, and Glaive's found two. Frozen, he can save Mouse Spot. He just has to stop the defuse. That's his mission. That's his objective. And a one versus three, and Molotov's the cherry on top. Glaive goes down. Frozen. All against all odds, finds three. They've kept until about $500. That seems to be the magic number for most teams. You know, this phase doing the same earlier in the week when they forced by, leaving around $500. And, well, <laughs> it's working out quite well for now. That's going to be Voxic down first and Chris J in hot water as well. Don't do them like this. Not like this. They've already won a couple of these. Carrigan's had other plans, just leaping out with a Mac 10. But the Deagle of Magisk is still a threat, and he still stands. Needs another, and he has found it. The headshots keep coming. Astralis, after losing two with full weapons, they're doing it with Deagles. Well, Chris J once again, three on one. Same sort of scenario. Let's try and get the bomb down towards lower. Oh, he throws a smoke right in the open there, but I feel like he can be taken down. Yep, he could be seen. Zipex will get him. Look at Device's position. Oh, you don't see this one very often, and that's because it is a little bit of a risk. I think he's realized the same. We'll drop the flame and reposition. AK-47. Haven't seen it as of yet, but still plenty of time here. Round 11. Looking for Magus to pick up a kill, but surely traded out. And indeed, a nice swing from Carrigan for main entrance. They've got the upper bomb site under their remit here. Money not amazing for Astralis. They might be considering the save if Device can find nothing. Timing is everything. Frozen's checking both. Yeah, that should be enough. He actually managed to get out. Did well from Device. Smooth moves in the smoke. That looked uh, difficult to do, but uh, unfortunately winning this round for Astralis is also in that category. Mouseport's already got the bomb half ticked, and with a two-man advantage, it's going to send the CTs packing to save. But if it's late round, we get into some problems, as there is only one defuse kit on Debris and not a lot of utility. So this comes down to hitting the shots for Astralis. Well, I just moved from Robs. Oh. <laughs> that was very graceful, I have to say. The fact they're not hearing any utility in response gives them one of two ideas, that nobody's home or they don't have anything to throw. And I'm going to say, assuming the financial situation and flow of the game, they're going to assume there's nothing left on the CTs defending that top site. The second wave will come on through. And we're off. Flashes in. Bloodshed 2. Chris J actually caught 2-3 with that hut molly. It spread just into the corner. 
enough to find their second frag on entry. And now, well, the site's clear. Bomb will go down, looking like six for Mouse. Harrigan's on the patrol, but straight through the smoke. Glaive knows his moves. He knows what to expect. And already looking like dire straits for Mouse Sports in this one. This is a very, very interesting scenario now. Two players remaining, Rops and Voxic. Nades are good. They can smoke off, you know, decon. That's they exactly, can molly yeah. either either shadow or behind the bomb box. Got smoke windows. We've been here before, Chad. He's got to slow it right down. Take a deep breath. See what you're up against. And hopefully not the device. Because one of these kills, they're in trouble. He's nailed it. And that's probably going to be it. There it is. A perfect finish there for Astralis. But Mouse Sports have made this half very competitive as they move over to the T side. They've got P250s out in pairs here. Magisk and Glaive focusing on the headshots towards outside. It's a slow approach. And Frozen, he'll get Ouch. greeted by a lovely bullet to the face. He doesn't quite take him down, but it's certainly going to pick things up for Astralis as they make their way over to the secret. Oh. Now the headshot delivered. Yeah, so you can see how terrifying that is on a pistol to, to even jiggle for the info. Just to see how many people are crossing. You get a Glock bullet to the dome. Frozen and Chris J, they were inquisitive and they felt the wrath of that inquisition. Now Dupree is hunting him down. My God, this is aggressive. Chris J, he's tucking in on the corner. They didn't check it enough. The absence of the thorough clear has got Chris J, a frag, the heading top site with all this outside control. Frozen's rotated in through the smoke. And Carrigan finding one onto device keeps things level. Carrigan's actually got two impact fra frags once again from the in-game leader. Is it enough though? That's the question. So much damage inflicted. They have got a player at the bottom of heaven, I believe, as well. So Glaive needs to stay on his toes here. Robs will wait. Carrigan already has two kills. They know he's towards main entrance. A couple of shots there towards his body. Doesn't enough to take him down here, but they have done significant damage towards Zibex and Glaive as Frozen makes his first move towards the bomb site. And now he's tugged in on the site. Bomb, there's so much time on it. That shot from Zipex will relieve just a whole lot of pressure. He can focus his attention on Frozen, and he's found him as well. Glaive was waiting for the ladder climb, and Astralis take the pistol round. Wow, lot on the line. This could be, I mean, 12 for Astralis if this doesn't go Mouse Sports way. Yep, good point. It's still a difficult round for one of your Astralis as well. Up against the desert leaders of Mouse Sports and the scout of Boxic. You know he's going to do something crazy here. He hits the shot. Oh. He's actually got a chance of the P2000 to close things out. A couple of kills coming with the Desert Eagles. We told you things wouldn't be as uh, simple as you might like. From and behind. surrounded. This is over. They're losing this round. Carrigan's grabbed himself an AK with the Alligator feasting onto Device. Now Glaive, Molotov, oh Doubt, and the bomb is theirs. It's under Mouse Sports oh, rule. Oh, no. Just well, like that. Round over. They don't have a smoke to plan, though. What is the play here? Just, Just run, run out. Run. Hope oh, for the best. W, and it's working. They take down Rops. And now Chris J clawing back into the side, but the bomb does go down. Mission accomplished for Astralis at this point. Good damage onto Magisk. He's not letting this round slip away. They will neutralize all of the Danes when the fuse will come in. But that's an extra 800 bucks a piece. Frozen has been fantastic towards outside. So aggressive so assertive gap. towards outside a huge gap he's confirmed that no one's crossed at least and that's big information if you drop those outside smokes and there are gaps oh. it could lead to a key information being given away this is a brawl though towards upper carrigan fighting for his life he will go down because he didn't go towards the vice before he's finished and box it fluffs the flash but does avoid the flames huge round here mouse will take the lead in the third map 11 to 10 Bomb not planted the smoke down. Not going through that. He's going through it. This is a nutmeg. Yeah, they're just going to assume that they're going to be respected. That smoke in the There we go. Years. The sound cue he can push in. Device, no bomb plant for you. Rops tucking in perfectly. Matt just has time oh, to play with, though. He can go squeaky door now. Watch towards the Venn dive. It's a very well played maneuver here. You can see that. So now he's confirmed he's going down towards Laura. Sure. It enables a plan. You're trying to win these rounds. You're trying to keep it a two on one instead of taking a risk with the one on one duel. Needs a clean duel onto Woxic. Woxic's got the info. Look how safe Mouse Sports are playing this. Oh, that shot being missed though. That's the oh. chance. That's all he needs. Oh. You give him an inch, he'll take a mile Incendry. every single Incendry time. Incendry on Rops. He can just flush him out of position. And now yeah. he's trying to do it. Looking good. And just swings in and Rops will win the duel. Time for the defuse. He has the kit. And Mouse Sports secure 12. Good for information gathering. Rops, that's what he's doing as well. Holding that corner. Just to spot a pixel of a player. Drop the incendiary. Then the smoke. 30 that's seconds. 30 seconds in total. Ready? They have to go top. Yeah, they have to. Oh, my goodness. Chris J spotted them as well. They know exactly what's coming. Flashman to come forward as well. His teammate can swing. And he'll go down. 
swinging himself. It's going to be frozen at the CT event with 15 seconds remaining. Where's the bomb at this point? Oh, there's one coming from heaven. Dupree can do everything. He's climbing oh, as fast as it's he done. can. It's done. But they've got the bomb. They haven't got the time. Nine seconds. Can't find the frag he He's needs. Trapped. Device is through. The flame finds one, but can't find Carrigan. Nope. Three seconds on the clock. He hasn't got time. And that is the craziest round we've seen so far. My goodness. I want to watch that one at 0.25 speed. Oh. <sighs> here because the territory, the smoke walls, they seem to be running. Mouse, no, isn't it a top rush? Is that the yeah. bailout? This is for the it. call. Charge, he says. And already the trumpet sounds. Carrigan meets them with a smile and an M4A1. One Ooh. for one, into the side. Carrigan swings and dinks up another. Woxic to try and defend. It's not the perfect weapon for the job. And I think he realizes it's not the one for him. He puts down the smoke. Taking the fight was frozen. Astralis, top sight's working. Have a not going to affect the round, but still, a bit strange. That's better for device. <laughs> They're just going to creep all the way down to Robs. secret, and Robs, Robs has to go huge. He what wasn't happened? expecting that. He wasn't expecting them to be so far down, never mind combat ready. Now Sports lose a man early, and already Woxic has rotated in. He has got to do a whole lot of close quarters warping. He's done well to find the first. There's more where that came from, and he knows it. Looking for a second, already pushed up on the site. Clearing his corners, takes down Dupree. His, that is more than you could have asked from your AWP on the rotate. But already the man advantage remains in Astralis's hands. The level of Counter-Strike is rising by the second here as the pressure is mounting. We are going to see Crochet deny the plan, though. That's huge. That's from the ramp room. Two on two oh! now. Here, oh, there it is. Looking for series point. They might have They've found it. it. Frozen confirms it. Mouse Sports one round away from knocking Astralis out of the tournament here in the semi-final. If they can't get across, if they can't even get to lower, then this round might be done and dusted. The utility, it's just dropping. It's a, it's a fast split. They're going oh, main. They flash each other as well. The first kill, very important. Robs. Wow. Frozen all chiming in. Carrigan, the master of the upper bomb site. He's good for one. And now a three on two. Astralis do have the man advantage, but this is a great position. They go towards lower, so we won't get the magical moment just yet. But there is the incendiary. That does flush him out. Great job from Zippe. Sets Christy up. One versus one available. Doesn't hit the shot in the crucial encounter there with Zippe. And it's going to be another round for Astralis. And the loss bonus of the CT side will be $1,900 coming to the next round. We might not even have to have that discussion. Oh, this boost towards the round again. from the, the opening kill. This could be enough here. It's frozen oh, with multiple players in front of him. Robs will try and chime in. He's got three. Good could this be the moment? It's, it's not quite it. there it is! And the shotgun will find it for Mouse Sports. 16 to 12. They knock Astralis out of the tournament and book themselves a place in the grand final tomorrow against Fnatic for the best of five.